Content at Scale, which we launched today, really started about 18 months ago when um, Procter & Gamble wanted to do something they called Always On. And the real idea there is that they wanted to start thinking about themselves as like a news desk or as editors. And so instead of thinking about creative that was seasonal or topical like Thanksgiving, uh, back to school, they wanted to be really thinking about, well, what's happening in life for our customer today? For example, as we speak, most of the country is in a deep vortex of freezing cold and so how does the brand talk to people about what's going on in this cold weather situation or uh, the fact that the national championship football game happened last night or whatever's happening in the life of the customer and really what that forces you to think about instead of being able to plan months in advance for marketing you have to be able to react to what actually is happening in the life of the customer today and be able to respond to that in context of your brand speak to the customer in the, in the life that they're going through and so when we first started working on that what P&G did was they licensed content from partners on a one-off basis to say, hey, we need content. Um, let's set up a partnership dynamic. And then that content will be written. And then to scale that content, to have it reach consumers, it needed to be put into ad placements that were then served uh, to reach their reach goals. It was a very manual process, manual on the content creation process, manual on the ad formatting process, manual on the distribution process, and it added, frankly, just a lot of cost and complexity. What Content at Scale does is it allows brands to have access to, right now, 15 of the world's top publishers, to be able to come into a platform that's pre-approved for legal use in advertising, search for some keyword like freezing cold weather, what should I do with my kids now that it's so cold, and finding content like indoor kid yoga or um, you know, games you can play with children, allow brands to be able to take that content from the top publishers on the web, pay for it on a CPM basis, easily add it to an ad unit, all done automatically, and then get the scale they want of that content through a media buy. So, and why are brands doing that? Really, what they're, I think what social is teaching them is that um, traditional creative, like a tr shot of the product or of a model holding the product, only works so well. What seems to be really working in this age of the stream of content is content. Uh, and making content the creative, if you will, is really important to brands to be able to be relevant. Uh, what we solve for them is access to quality content, licensing right to that content, the workflow associated with it, putting that content in market, um, and uh, doing that on a working media basis versus having to have fixed costs against that. The ad units will be basically cross device, so whether it's a mobile device, tablet, or a desktop, it's not going to matter. The formats may be different, of course, but the technology works across all of those. In terms of what's next, the first thing I think we'll do next is, is we'll text an image and we'll go from US language to non-US languages. For example, Spanish and Chinese are uh, some of the sources of demand we have right now. Uh, European languages like French and German. And so what, what we'll do is we'll add publishers that are, represent those regions, crawl and index their, their text and image content. We're also working with some video sites to make the video content available as well. So in time, you can imagine multiple languages, syndicating to multiple devices that give the brand access to the best content, whether it's image, text, or video. So we call it content at scale now, really, because it, it's designed to solve the two problems that brands have, which is what is the content, where does it come from, and how do we scale it to get our reach numbers that we're looking for. But I think you're right, it is a content management platform. That, it, the way I think about it is like, think about a content management system meeting an ad server. So you can organize and manage content, but then you can distribute it through ad buys, which is obviously the way that reach is, is achieved in the marketplace. Uh, in terms of our launch, we are launching with SMG, and for the foreseeable future, it's going to be an SMG-led product. Um, I imagine, uh, and I know that Lisa Weinstein believes this to be true as well, that it could be a market service that multiple agencies could use, both within Publicis and across. Um, but in order to really uh, flesh the product out, to get it proven in market, to bring these publishers on, expect to see it being an SMG product for the foreseeable future.